Sasa tuangazie taarifa ambayo inawafaa zaidi wa wapenzi wa kuku. Miaka miaka mingi ufugaji wa kuku umekuwa mojawapo wa shughuli za ufugaji zenye faida nchini kwa sababu ya mahitaji makubwa ya nyama ya kuku na mayai. Hali hiyo imesababisha wakulima kubuni mbinu mbalimbali za kukuza kuku ili kuongeza uzalishaji wao. Njia mojawapo imekuwa ni matumizi ya vizimba. Wakulima wengi wanapendelea njia hii mpya kwani inawezesha kufuga ndege wengi kwenye nafasi ndogo. Mahitaji huzua uvumbuzi na wafugaji wa kuku wanatumia njia hii mpya ili kujipatia mapato zaidi katika mazingira yenye ushindani. Kulingana na wakulima hao Njia hii ya ufugaji ni rahisi hasa katika kuwachunguza kuku na kukusanya mayai. So farmers are actually at liberty to actually practice this uh, system and you can actually see this is actually something that's emerging uh, especially in uh, quite a number of urban areas in in, in Kenya. Mwanamu siku za hivi karibuni ufugaji wa kutumia vizimba umekuwa maarufu nchini. Huku vizimba vingi vikitengezwa kwa mbinu za kisasa. We have just built cages that can accommodate the number of birds we are having. If so far so good we have a number of like 30 birds per now within here. Wakulima wanasema ukosefu wa ardhi ya kutosha ndio umechangia mabadiliko hayo na kuwezesha uzalishaji wa kuku wenye nyama na mayai bora. When it comes to specific measurements this is around 67 to 87 inches squared or um, 420 to around 560 centimeters squared. Now you can actually see that already this is a very very small uh, uh, size where you can actually confine an animal. Kwenye mfumo huo kuku kuzo katika safu na nguzo za vizimba vinavyofanana kwenye kitengo kimoja. According to the, to the housing, I can't, I can't say they are not comfortable. They are okay, you can see the feeding traps and you can see inside there we have got um, where they roost and where they, the boxes where they lay their eggs and where they play down on the ground. Hata hivyo mtandao wa mashirika ya kutetea haki za wanyama barani Afrika unashauri wakulima kutotumia mfumo huu wa ufugaji ukisema unawazuia ndege hao kuwa na uhuru wa kutembea kupata muda wa kutosha kufanya mazoezi na kuchangia uwawe katika hali ya dhiki. When you actually do uh, place uh, birds in such uh, restricted uh, confinements then it actually affects uh, their behavior there's something we actually call uh, the development of stereotypic behaviors so these animals are actually uh, not able to actually express their natural behavior They're